Hello everyone, welcome to BMW's 2021 R1250 RT. This is one of their touring motorcycles, a little bit of a size down from the K1600 series. That motorcycle with a much larger engine and more accommodable space for the second passenger is geared towards couples that are really riding as a couple. But with this motorcycle here, we're looking at quite a technological marvel and really the absolute best and everything that BMW can offer on a motorcycle is here on this model in front of me and I'm on a fully loaded Sport RT version but to give you the big headlines the engine was updated for the 2021 model year shared as well with the BMW R1250 GS so it's a 1254cc boxer twin it has 136 horsepower 105 pound-feet of torque we've got this new 10 and a quarter inch screen which I'll spend a fair amount of time talking about later and then the look is streamlined a little bit up front with the headlight cluster to now accommodate adaptive cruise control let me list some of the most impressive features that's on this RT we've got a Bluetooth connected app to your phone so you can program music and navigation routes into the screen different driving modes adaptive dampers a space for your phone to wirelessly charge detach hard case bags, heated grips, a heated seat, and a heated passenger seat, satellite radio, and keyless ride. Now that was a quick fire of all the features that are available in different packages, and like I said, they are all here in this sport model. And the sport model, whilst coming with this exclusive blue color and black rims, also comes with a slightly shorter windscreen that you can adjust electronically. Uh, it's about three inches shorter than the standard model, and I'm six foot four, and I can feel the wind rushing over it and hitting my head, but with this screen fully erect, you can get down into the handlebars and just have your own pocket of isolation. When it comes to a motorcycle like this, there are some obvious pros and cons. Obvious pros, it's very isolated from the road and extremely comfortable. But then the cons, it is a heavy, sizable beast. It is something that if you're going to be commuting in, might be a fair amount of work and you definitely have to be a skilled rider if you want to take this in stop and go city traffic. That does make something like the RT a little bit intimidating to ride for the first time, but just like anything else in life, you give it a little more time, build up that muscle memory, and you'll be good to go. When it comes to the seating position, I'm six foot four, as I said. It is quite wide, and for someone that's thin and tall like me, it leaves you a fair amount of space. So under hard braking or hard acceleration, I can find myself sliding forwards and backwards on this, even though I've got a tight grip around the tank so something like those sticky tank grips i'm sure would be useful for any one of my sort of profile okay that's enough blabbing standing here let's get the rt on the road so i can show you what it can do okay so before we start up the r1250 rt a couple quick things that i want to mention in terms of some additional features you've got these four big buttons down underneath your clutch lever and these are your preset favorites and that's quite important i'll bring that into the discussion when we're talking about the screen and how that all works uh, and then you also have this plug over here where if you have one of those heated jackets you can plug right down into the side of the rt so the r1250 rt as i mentioned 1254 cc it has a six-speed manual transmission and a drive shaft to the rear wheel up front, we've got dual disc brakes, and in the rear, a single, powered by Brembo calipers and pads, and the beautiful combination of blue paint and the gold hardware on those calipers, I think, really works for this sport model. And alongside of getting the blue paint and the rims, like I mentioned, we also have the option 719 pack, so that blacks out the engine casing and a couple of other features on this motorcycle. Okay, so I'm at a stop now and the wind's coming to the side and one of my biggest issues with the RT, which I'm sure anyone will be comfortable with after spending any appreciable amount of time with it, but just due to the weight and the size of this motorcycle in the wind gust, uh, you really have to be sure you've got your foot planted and I found that the first couple times being on this motorcycle the area of which you would put your foot straight down is quite crowded because you've got the cylinder you've got the foot pace you've got the clutch so you really have to step out rather than down 
on this motorcycle, which at the end of the day, once you get used to it, is no big deal. But once you're on the go with the R1250 RT, it is just shocking how well this thing absorbs bumps. You actually have an adaptive system on this motorcycle, so you can go from a comfort mode or a dynamic mode with the suspension, and it is a substantial difference. But here you're going to be using this kind of motorcycle for comfort, for long distance, and it just smooths out pretty much anything on the road to the point where you kind of want to hit potholes because you want to have that confirmation and that joy that essentially what you're riding is just so indomitable on the road. Given that this is quite a long wheelbase for a motorcycle, when you lean it into corners, you can feel a little bit of separation between the front and the rear wheel. I mean, I doubt anybody's going to be doing serious lean angles on a motorcycle like this, but it is something to be cautious of if you're going for a uh, long merger onto a highway, let's say. Now that gave me a second to really rev out this engine because the Boxer Twin in this and the GS is just so characterful. <laughs> you can comfortably reach some pretty ridiculous speeds and you can definitely feel that or maybe not feel, you can hear that variable valve timing kick in at around that 6,000 mark. You just hear a little bit of a step up like you're in a Honda VTEC. It's unbelievable. And I'm crouched down right now and it really masks the sense of speed that you get on the R1250 because this windscreen and all of the other components in front of you really just house you in your own pocket of isolation. I mean, the handlebars aren't the widest thing on the motorcycle, it's the wing mirrors, and that's something that's quite a strange feeling when you first get onto big motorcycles like this. But what this all means is that you can be cruising and have absolutely no interruption from the outside world. Your legs are nicely covered from the extensions of the fairings. Okay, so let's talk a little more about the technology. Here in front of you, you've got a 10 and a quarter inch screen that is beautifully crisp has wonderful graphics and at night really isn't so bright that it's distracting. You interact with it the same way that you interact with so many other BMW motorcycles, the rotary wheel on your left hand side and when you're on the move you could change around little menus, you could turn the music up and down, that's no problem, but if you were to do this in stop and go traffic and try and get to more serious sub menus it would be even more dangerous than texting and driving. It's, it's a complex system in the way that you have to move this dial in and out. You have to select the menu button at different occasions. So for the love of God, don't do this when you're stop and go city traffic. Do it when you're on the move and you want to turn up the music because of course this has external speakers when you're going at a comfortable rate at speed. This is where these four hard buttons down here really play into value if you're in that kind of circumstance because these are your favorite buttons. So you quickly want to turn on the heated seats, you can have that saved to this number one. If you want to quickly change satellite radio stations, you can save that to number two. Okay, now let's talk about the adaptive cruise control. BMW cars, I think their adaptive system is one of the better on the market and believe me when I say the adaptive cruise control system on this motorcycle is as good as the most expensive vehicles that BMW offers. When a car gets in your lane it doesn't hit the brakes it just coasts. When someone speeds up it naturally gains speed instead of just slamming on the throttle and you have a little bit of a play around with the clutch as well so if you had the cruise control set if you're on a hilly back road let's say all you need to do is just change gear the cruise control stays intact going up or down the gears and i think that's a brilliant feature for when you can see a huge hill in front of you think fourth gear is going to labor the hill you just knock down into third as we do have a quick downshifter and the system is 
uninterrupted. It is well and truly fantastic. So there you have it. Those are my thoughts towards the BMW R1250RT. This well and truly is a showcase of what BMW Motorrad is capable of achieving. And when it comes to technology defining the experience of a ride, in this class of vehicle, I don't think really matters. You want it to be as comfortable and as adaptable and as features rich as you can afford. It fits its mission so well that if you're shopping in this segment up against its main rivals, Honda Goldwing, Indian Roadmaster, Hardley Davidson Road Glide to name a few, this really can stand above the rest for how well integrated all this technology is and how relaxed of a riding experience the RT can deliver. So that's everything I have to say for this review. Thank you very much for taking the time to watching. Please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, all of those other great things. Really helps this channel out a lot. Hope to see you around here soon.